So I'm spending more and more time running PPC ads for my own product, Planter.io. And in this process, I've really learned how time consuming it is A-B testing your ads. Now this right here is Marco Polo, who has managed to develop a platform which should allow us to test our ads utilizing AI and just work a lot faster. But how is the output really? Let's put it to a test. So here we have dived right into Marco Polo and this is basically the platform. The homepage here is also powered by AI because if we go down here, then you can see some suggested ad objectives and some suggested to do, which is based on AI combined with your industry. But what I want to start with in this entire journey is I want to create an ad. I want to attach that ad to a campaign. I want to see how it's going with the campaign. And then let's see the AI suggestions that are coming using Marco Polo. So when you need to build an ad, then there are two ways of doing it. Either you can use the ad maker or you can use the quick promo. Let's start out with the ad maker. So in here, we basically just click on the create ad and then you choose where you want your ad to show. So you can see right now Marco Polo integrates with Google and with Facebook, which opens up for both Instagram and YouTube as well. So I will go simple and then I will choose the Facebook image ad. To begin with, we need to create our ad copy. When you create your ad copy, then you need to set the language. We need to set the tone here, which I will set as convincing. You can see it has already filled out my product brand name and my product description. And the creativity level, let's try and set it to medium and then generate some copies. So on the right side now, it is now utilizing AI to generate text that we can use in our ad. And based on my experience this far, it is very mixed based on the results you get back. Some are good and some are just completely off. But here we got some results back and I'm really surprised here. I think this is the best result I've seen so far using Marco Polo. I could take all of these six and then use them. But here's the thing. I can only choose one ad text to go with. I would love to be able to take all six and then A-B test in the end. But for now, we are only building one ad. So let's go with the first one here and we will continue where we now need to create our creative. Here, there are three ways of going around this. You can either upload your own, you can design using the Mark editor, or you can design using Canva. So they have an integration directly to Canva where you can just sit and design your ad. So we will take a look at that. You can see over here, it's very simple. You have some templates which will get you started very fast. I will scroll down and see if I can find a template. So I've chosen this template here. I will just very simple write the product name. And then here we will write something like start being productive today. So now we have our ad. Of course, I could go around and then change the font so it matches my style of using planter.io in this case. So let's just do that fast as you can see here. And now it's ready. So I'll press save. So we now have our image that we can use on the ad. When I press save, then it pulls it in directly into Marco Polo. It is now saving the image and then we'll be able to move on and set up our ad. On the next step here, we need to set some very simple elements. We give, need to give this ad a name. Let's just call it first Facebook ad. We need to write the URL, which will be shown. This is not the actual URL that you're sending people to and the call to action will be sign up. So now I'll save this ad as finished. So it's now ready to be combined with a campaign and setting up a campaign is the next step. So within campaigns, it works more or less the same way. We create a campaign, we choose what platform do we want to use? And here I can choose multiple. So for now, I'll just choose Facebook and Instagram and let's give it again a campaign name. Let's call it YouTube video. And here's the first thing I wish they would change. And that is down here, I need to choose a duration. I can't just choose to let it run forever. You can say on the other side that it is a positive thing because A-B testing in this sense, you want to test within a given period. And then you want to compare the results on all the ads within this period. So running it within a fixed period can sometimes also be a good idea. 
What I want to run this ad for is definitely conversions, both on Facebook and on Instagram. You can choose to run your ad for many other things like just pure traffic, video views, engagement. But if you just have a slight chance of running with conversions, then I will definitely recommend you that. So you make sure that Facebook and Google in this case optimizes your ads for more conversions. On the next step here, we need to choose our ads. And as you can see down here, we have the ad that we made before. Now, if I want to add a B test, then I can also choose the other ad, which I've previously created. So now I have two ads. I can also choose to create one, but for now I'll go with these two and then move to the last step here. On the last step here, you can see that they have automatically chosen the date range for me, even though we just said it before. And then they have set a minimum budget required for this period. And they have set 140 US dollars. So down here, you can see my two ads, which will basically be a B tested up against each other. So I will just add my UL here for sign up. And the thing here is that the pixel event type needs to align with what we said before. So as you saw before, my call to action was sign up, but here it has chosen purchase. It would be a nice add on if it just automatically chose the one that I wrote before, or maybe they just only gave me these options as a call to action. But let's choose the website registration right here. So now we are ready. One more thing we need to do is that we need to select an audience. And here Marco Polo has developed something really awesome. So in here you can set up audiences yourself as you can see here, or you can create a new audience. When you create a new audience, I will recommend you going with the preset audience, which is pre-built from Marco Polo. You can also, if you want to go completely custom, choose the custom audience. But for now, we will choose the preset one. And I want to build an audience for freelancers. The platform are Facebook in this case. The audience type we keep as preset because that was what we said just before. And then going down, we have to choose some elements still. I will choose all genders, the age group, I will just let be. For location, let me set Denmark in this case. And now we need to search keywords, which are relevant for this specific campaign. So you can see already it has suggested me some keywords based on AI and based on what I've already added. So the planner and scheduler here is perfect and the same with the productivity software. If you want to add more keywords, you can also do that here by simply just searching for the specific keywords. Scrolling further down, we have now reached the Facebook pixel step. And I think this one you need to maybe ignore a little bit because I've already installed my Facebook pixel, but it is telling me that it's not installed and that can be an issue with maybe the crawler that checks on my website or something else. But now to the interesting thing. Down here, you choose your audience preset. And an audience preset can be everything from power users to brand new users. It can be former power users and so on. So here they have taken 10 different categories to put users in. And based on these categories, you're now exposing your ad to only this group of people. And what's really interesting is that Planter.io is still a fairly new product. So I will need power users for this specific campaign because power users, as it say here, are early adopters. And those are the people I want to target with my campaign. And this is really interesting. You can also choose happy campers. You can choose becoming more engaged based on what your campaign is. But for now, I'll choose power users. And now we're ready to save this audience. So this audience is now saved. So the next time I need to use it, it is ready to be used. I don't have to go through all the steps again. So as you can see here, we are now back setting up the campaign and the audience is chosen down here. Even though we have two ads, which are basically fighting against each other to be the one to perform the best, then we can A-B test even further. So here we can A-B test audiences. So not only are we A-B testing campaigns, we can also A-B test audiences. This means that you are adding an extra layer to the way that you A-B test and you can A-B test so many different variables in this way. And I just think it's so interesting to see. So now it's ready. So let's launch this campaign. So right now, Marco Polo are now creating these campaigns for me on both Facebook and also Google as well, if I had chosen Google, but I only chose Facebook to run this. 
So now the campaign is down here. It is running, it is saying YouTube video because that was what I called it. We can then expand it here to see the start date, the end date. We can go in and pause it. But here's the thing, we can't go in and manually optimize this campaign. To do that, you have to go into the Facebook ad business manager in order to optimize it in the way that you want to maybe tweak the different elements. Because here I can just see the different ads. And another thing I'm really missing here is some more insights on how the different ads are doing. Because with our ad running now, we can then go to the dashboard to see some statistics. And these are statistics on how it's going. But as you saw before, I can't see on the specific ads. And here as well, I'm missing a step further. I can't see conversions. And right now my campaign is running to optimize conversions, which means that I get the most conversions out of it. But here it's not showing conversions. I can choose to see it in a grid view, in a list view, but I can't see my conversions. And I really think that they should add that. Even if I click view more details, I will still not be able to see my conversions. But I can see elements like clicks, impressions, click through rate, and just the normal things that we can also see, of course, within Facebook and within Google Ads. Here it's maybe just showing a little bit easier for us to read. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning, you can also set up a quick promo. And a quick promo is an easier and faster way to set up a campaign. So here we just choose a campaign name and we choose what platform we want to target. For this, I will choose Instagram. And what it's now doing is that it's pulling ads in from Facebook. So you can see all these are a combination of ads and Instagram posts. So here I can easily just choose this post here and then I can start running a campaign for it. Basically again, go down, choose my audience and then I can just finish and launch. So that's an easy way of how you can very fast set up an ad and just start testing it out. The last thing I want to show you is Nucleus. In here, when you have started to use Marco Polo for some time, you will get suggestions based on AI, just as you saw before when we were on the home page. So here, it will tell you how you can optimize your ads in very specific angles. It can be anything from try to create a new ad, maybe create an ad with this specific language or something third. It's a really interesting suggestion engine and I'm really looking forward to follow this to see how good the recommendations actually are. Because if we go back to the home page, you can see the recommendations here are to create a video, traffic, engagement, ad objectives, also to make an ad down here, make an audience. So these are very generic suggestions and I'm hoping that Nucleus would at least give us more detailed suggestions based on our AI. Now, I really like products who go the extra mile and build a modern UI that's easy to use. Marco Polo's UI is not necessarily bad, but they could make it more modern. With that being said, their core functionality does bring value to the table. You can very fast set up and A-B test both ads but also audiences. Even though we are having issues with seeing conversions and we can't really optimize our ads using Marco Polo. But based on my own experience using Marco Polo, I want to give them three and a half stars. There are really some potential in here, but they have a lot of basic elements they need to work on. That's my review. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.